no doubt a terrible sight to see as someone pulled off the road with smoke just billowing out from their engine. There's a big loss of time, towing costs, and certainly some repair bill. But most of it is truly preventable by taking care of your cooling system. The cooling system keeps our engines from overheating. The job is to move heat away from the engine. Sounds pretty simple, right? But there's a lot of components to make the whole thing work right. So, let's take a quick review. The radiator is the part most everyone associates with the cooling system. Coolant flows through the radiator, which has fine cooling fins that draw the heat out of the coolant and dissipate it into the air. To make sure there's enough airflow over the radiator, a fan pulls air over the cooling fins even when the car is idling. In some vehicles, the fan is powered by the serpentine belt. On others, an electric motor runs this fan. Electric fans turn on and off as needed. You may have heard the fan kick on shortly after you turn your car off. This means that the sensor has determined that the engine needs a little help cooling down to a safe temperature. A hose connects the radiator to the water pump. The water pump pushes the water into the engine block. Now, the engine block and cylinder heads have passages for the coolant to pass through without getting into the oil or the combustion chamber. These passages are referred to as the water jacket. While the coolant is passing through the water jacket, it absorbs heat from the engine on its way to the radiator for cooling. Between the engine and the radiator is a gatekeeper called the thermostat. The thermostat's job is to regulate the temperature of the engine, just like your home thermostat regulates the temperature of your house. It gets your engine up to the correct operating temperature and then keeps it from overheating. When you first start the engine, it's very cold and needs time to warm up. So the thermostat blocks the flow of coolant to the radiator. As the engine warms up, the thermostat starts to let coolant flow through the system. I'm gonna take a moment to tell you how the thermostat works because it's really pretty cool. The thermostat has a cylinder with wax in it. The cylinder also has a rod that's connected to the valve that opens to let the coolant flow. As the cold engine starts to warm, the wax begins to melt, and as the wax melts, it expands and pushes the rod that opens the valve. It's like one of those juice boxes with a little straw. Squeeze the box and the juice squirts out the straw. Because different engines are designed to operate at different temperatures, the thermostats use different wax formulas that have the appropriate melting temperature. The final component I want to talk about is the overflow reservoir. This bottle is designed to hold some of the coolant. It'll have a mark that indicates whether or not you have enough coolant. This is where you should add coolant if you just need to top it off. Now, be careful, never open the reservoir or the radiator cap when the car's hot. The cooling system is pressurized and opening them while it's hot can cause hot coolant and steam to escape, resulting in serious burns. In fact, you should probably never open the radiator cap. It's there to maintain pressure. User service is done through the reservoir only. Okay, that's a lot of information. But here's the key question. How can you prevent cooling system failure? Well, cooling system failure is the most common mechanical failure in vehicles. Your service center can do a periodic inspection of the components for leaks, loose connections, and weakening hoses. Your manufacturer also has specified a cooling system service interval. With a cooling system service, the old coolant is replaced with correct, clean fluid that contains the additives required to prevent corrosion. The additives are depleted over time, and you need fresh fluid for adequate protection. Your radiator pressure cap should also be replaced at this service as well. For more information about cooling system service, visit autonettv.com.